What's going on everybody? C4 here. Welcome back to the channel and we are here for episode 3 of our Madden 21 Philadelphia Eagles franchise where we are kind of in line with where the Eagles are in real life. The Eagles are getting ready to play a Monday night game against Seattle Seahawks where I'm sure in real life they're going to get absolutely slaughtered. I don't know how much better we're going to fare here, but we are 2-0. We're 2-0 in the two games that we've kind of correlated with the Philadelphia Eagles in real life. Going 0-2. We beat the Giants. They lost to the Giants. We beat the Browns. And, uh, yeah, we just lost to the Browns. Not, we're not in a good spot. We're absolutely not in a good spot. We probably actually should have lost that game to the Browns. But Doug Peterson had, for once, great coaching. Let the Cleveland Browns score. And then gave us the opportunity to finally score uh, and, and get the game winner and win 41-35. So it was an epic game for sure. It went on the overtime. And it worked out. It worked out well for us. So we are 2-0, yet to taste defeat. Miles Sanders has been sensational, coming off four touchdowns and 200 yards from scrimmage last week. And we enter this week knowing that we have two breakouts, one for Travis Fulham, one for mystery player, probably someone on the defensive side of the ball. Um, and and we're, we're taking on the Seattle Seahawks. Eight and two are the Seattle Seahawks. I kind of want to see statistically, like what, like, there's, a, there's an elephant in the room when it's me talking about the Eagles and the Seahawks. And me. Obviously, you look at Russell Wilson, he's playing very much like an MVP candidate. I think right now it's Russell Wilson and Patrick Mahomes that are one and two. Uh, the running back attack is, you know, it is what it is. But there's a certain monster on the roster that every time I see him not wearing Philadelphia Eagle colors, it makes my soul hurt. DK Metcalf, you know... We made sure that we got J.J. Arthago Whiteside, who's a healthy scratch, and yet this six foot three, like they're almost the same size too. That's like the almost insulting thing about it is like DK Metcalf, six three, two twenty plus, right? And, and you look at the Philadelphia Eagles, and in the same round, I guess we were looking for someone that fit that same profile in a way, right? We're looking six two, two twenty five, and we couldn't have botched it. Any worse, DK Metcalf now is one of the most unstoppable. Like, I'm not going to say he's a top 10 wide receiver. He's probably there. He's probably in that conversation. But in terms of like just straight up being unstoppable, because obviously he doesn't have the, the route running, the full route tree that, that a lot of the guys that you would consider top 10 wide receivers have. But if you're just straight up saying what players are uncoverable, DK Metcalf is 100% making that top 10. He might even make that top 5. And it's really that, that, that the most valuable thing. So that, on top of the fact that they also have Tyler Lockett, who could absolutely whoop our ass. But this is going to be our, our real test here against the Seattle Seahawks. So first up, we have Travis Fulham, who's looking off that normal depth trade. This is going to be important for me to get him. He wants, what, 100 yards? Two touchdowns or 100 yards. That is going to be a goal of mine, because I really do think Fulham should at least be a star depth player, and that would go a long way. So we also have a breakout scenario here. For Miles Sanders, all right, awesome. No way we could feed both of them. Miles Sanders looking to go from a star to a superstar. He needs three touchdowns, 150 yards rushing, receiving. Now, that you know, the last two weeks, that's kind of been attainable. We've had huge games with Miles Sanders. I actually think we got three touchdowns two weeks ago against the Giants, four touchdowns against the Browns. So from a touchdown standpoint, doable. Like, I I'm thinking off the top of my head, 100 yards for Fulham, three touchdowns for Miles Sanders. We can game plan that into our team. But I, it's just Seattle. But the good thing about Seattle is that for as good as their offense is, and as cheesy as their X-Factors are on the defensive side of the ball, generally speaking, their defenses aren't, you know, it's historically bad. We are ready. 5-4-1, and 8-2. and two. Everyone's going to have their Thanksgiving turkey, and we're going to try our best to win, to get Fulham a dev trait, and to get Miles Sanders a dev trait. Remember what we learned last game. 
I am a filthy defensive line user. But when things get frustrating on all Madden, and when we figure out... It's a good run for them on first down by Carlos Hyde. When we figure out who their go-to target is, I don't know who it's going to be. I feel like it might be Lockett. I feel like that's who they're going to go to. We should be able to have Darius Slay kind of match up fairly well on DK Metcalf. But when I figure that out, I'm just going to straight up use her like Singleton or TJ Edwards and cover that guy out the backfield because they always want that short option. Hell, it could even be Greg Olson at tight end. But that is going to be our priority once we figure out who their go-to guy is. Right now, it looks like it's Carlos Hyde. What? All right, here's the run for the passer call. I mean, garbage. Oh, ho, ho. Fletcher Cox got the pressure of Vontae Maddox. Probably should have done a little bit better there. And got a pick. There's the injuries for the Philadelphia Eagles. Thanks for the reminder. Let's go man defense across the board. Third and two. They look like they're going to run it. Oh, come on. It's a good grab. Tyler Lockett. Go ran that one. Well, read that one, Rel. Alex Singleton, a TFL. All right, third and eight. A chance to bend, but not break. Um, again, I don't feel comfortable getting on a linebacker. Great start. Awesome start on defense. Awesome start. Yes, Will Disley with the opening touchdown. Russell Wilson cooking. Okay, we know what we want, remember. 100 yards, Fulham. Three touchdowns, buck 50, Miles Sanders. Also win the game. Oh, get Fulham going. Get Fulham going early. Let him know. Oh, there we go, Jalen Rager. A little play action. Third and short. I want to trust, trust Miles Sanders to get this year. Third and two. Done. Well done. Just got enough. All right, we got third down and 10 on the 35. In scoring range, but obviously we want a lot more. Fulham's our read. Let's see if we can get open. I'll put it there. I'll put it there. Or we can go underneath the Philly Goddard. It gives us something to question. It's fourth. That's That's go for it. Hey, my eyes are up here. Let's go for it. Even if I have to try and get it with a slant, this is a go for it. Fourth and two on the 27. Trust their offense. I should almost audible to like a QB sneak. We'll keep it here. Oh, there we go. Perfectly weighted pass. Why can't he do that in real life? Jalen Rager moves the chains on fourth down. Go, good run, Miles Sanders. 10 yards. Oh. Alshon Jeffrey with an effort play. Six of six for Carson Wentz. Elite accuracy that just doesn't exist in real life. First and goal on the two. Let's start things off with touchdown. One of three needed on the day for Booby Sanders. Miles Sanders gets in very late in the first quarter to tie this one up at seven apiece. So while they were easily able to cut through our defense like a, knife through, a warm knife through butter, we can do the same. Go. Nice play. Nice play. Nice TFL. Josh Sweat. Getting that sweat juice dripping. There we go. Back to guard right up into Russell Wilson's lap and a pass deflection from Avante Maddox. Third and ten. Our game plan. Why is our game plan cover nine? Sure. I'm going to also be Duke Riley here. Oh my god, I, I probably I should have reacted better on that. Oh, there's that man, DK Metcalf on the No, that's not fair. You can, if you have DK Metcalf, you can't use him on slants. Oh, Fletcher Cox blows that one up, and still Russell Wilson is able to do that. Third and five. Man defense. Where's DK? Who's supposed to be covering DK? I'm worried. I'm terrified. There we go. It's supposed to be Vontae Maddox. A DK Metcalf. They go the screen pass. And Rod McLeod is showing why he's probably the slowest starting free safety in the NFL. All right, it's going to be a shootout again. Oh. Oh. 
There's some yards. There's they slay. Hey, they're slaying DK. I'll slant full. Knowing that I got a dev trade on the line here. All right, they we can run screen pass too. They burn us on the on the Carlos Hyde screen for a touchdown. That's what we can do with Miles Sanders? Oh, not great blocking, but able to get the first down. Put him in space. Made a play. Oh, I want to try this so bad. Oh, I just want to float that into him if he can get open. Ah. If I was actually Carson Wentz, I probably would have tried to force that. But I'm trying to improve Carson Wentz. I'm trying to improve the Eagles, okay? This is my this is my safe space because, you know, the Eagles suck in real life. So I need this safe space. I'll go to Goddard. Move the chains. Make it third and manageable. Again, we're getting into potential fourth down territory. Let's go angle curls. That's where I'm a little bit worried. They have Bobby Wagner covering him. That is not a matchup that we like. Well, let's trust that he's not. Oh, shit, he is for sure. And we'll just throw it away. Well, not really throw it away. Gave him a little bit of a shot. But it is fourth. <sighs> Take the points. Kick it. I'm getting sick and tired of blowing plays up and still not having a chance at even sniffing at Russell Wilson. I want to smell what he smells like, huh? Does he smell like Sierra? Another slants to DK Metcalf. I think I might, like, it's one of those, I don't think Darius Slay's following every play, but if he is, I'm pretty much just got to figure out who's covering 14 and, uh, use them. Try my best. See if I can do it. So at least I don't, I can't blame Madden. It's me not being a good user corner, which I'm probably not, but I do play corner all the time in the, in the yard. Maybe that's helped me. Again! Yes, he dropped it. Thank God. But, like, is there a better camera angle? Like, if I wanted to be Darius, I can't even see him. Why would I ever use a guy that I can't see? Like, I would never be able to, like, properly time, like, press. Oh, there we go! Defensive stop, Brandon Graham! Fool us once on the screen pass. Shame on us. Fool us twice. Doesn't happen because we can't get fooled twice. Second seven, we got fool him in the slot. That's actually going to be one of the times that we really want to try to... Oh, that's stupid. Stupid. See? See? Trying to get these dev traits is going to cost me this victory potentially. Because I'm just trying to... I, the blinders are on. And the blinders can't be on. Oh, yeah. Got hit as we're throwing it. Forced it to the guy. And uh, the Griffin with... The other Griffin made the play. Oh, yeah, the blitz came and it worked! Safety blitz, Jalen Mills, finger wag all you want with your stupid hair. You deserve it. Third and seven, team just goes zone. Don't care, like, you know, I mean, it would be nice to get them no yardage and don't give up any points, but it's field goal or bust here. Cannot let them get a first down here. Will Parks, Philly Will, makes a tackle, will burn the timeout, they'll attempt a field goal, and we'll have a chance to potentially tie this up before halftime. If not, take the lead if they shank it. Go full of slants. Help him out there. He must be getting close to at least 50 yards. There we go. 50 yards. We're halfway there. We're on pace. All right, we got third 16. Um, Goddard, probably. See if God, I mean, there are two guys over three, potentially three people that are covering one guy. So let's see. We'll do that, because that was stupid. Can I get running into the kicker? If running into the kicker should ever, punter or whatever, should ever happen, that is it. They go all for the block, and like I, there's just no animation for my punter to get blown up. No way. I'm just... I'll say that it's just a hell of a play, I guess. I don't know. He's on Alshon, and then, like, the fact... Like, the way, the way that he reads that, I guess it's a thousand IQ play. Because how does he know 
He's covering Alshon, right? How does he know that that's not going to Alshon Jeffrey, that ball? That's coming in from Carson Wentz right there. How does he know? He just makes... That might be the smartest corner in the NFL, Quentin Dunbar, who literally, I'm pretty sure, almost murdered people in the offseason. Mine. Oh! Give me a little bit! Yes! Avante Maddox has earned it. He's been very good today. Thank God we could get one back. Thank God, because I think uh, now that I got that, I can say that I believe that Quinn Dunbar interception was a little bit bullshit. So thank you very much, Avante Maddox, who I still think, even though in real life right now, he's kind of getting beat up. He's a slot corner. They're playing him on the outside. They put Once we get another guy that can play outside, Darius Slay, we put Maddox back in the slot. We're going to see him. He's a very good NFL slot corner. Pick six, pulls us back within three. Oh, here we go. There he's slay on DK back out. I'm going to try this. Oh, God. Well, they didn't go DK. And it's a third down. Chance to get off the field here. Third and three. I'll tell you right now, blitzes have been working. Like that, Avante Maddox pick six happened because I dialed up the blitz. Went all out blitz. Let's get off the field. Oh, shit. Close. Good effort. All right. Yvonne Wallace on DK Metcalf. Sure. Oh, no, he's not. Uh, he's covering Greg Olson. Got Duke Riley on Greg Olson. Oh, they're just going to run the ball. Oh, hey, he's working. Like, the generally, thankfully, is a good run defense. Carlos Hyde's had the most success. I think he had more success than Nick Chubb and, and Kareem Hunt did. Well, it was Nick Chubb was hurt, but Kareem Hunt did last week. Don't get beat by play action. Commit to the run. There we go. Fletcher Cox. Flex on him a little bit. Gives them, gives them something to think about. I don't think they're going to run it. So it's third and goal and six. It's going to be a pass. They're going to probably get Russell Wilson out of the pocket. They're going to probably try to find Greg Olson. So let's go man defense. Where is Greg Olson? He's up here. He's at the top. I'm going to... Oh! Hell of a ball. Hell of a ball, Russell Wilson, Tyler Lockett. It is what it is, man. Hell of a player, hell of a tandem. We committed that they were going to go to Greg Olson. We committed it wrong. Touchdown. Damn straight I throw it to my long snapper. Damn straight I throw it to my long snapper. You don't? Guard, that's a tough catch. Holds on to it. Good pass breakup. Griffin's having a hell of a game. Third and eight. I don't know why we didn't throw it to right bumper. Threw it to right bumper. Clicked right bumper. Kick the field goal. Make it one score. Oh, there we go. That's a good tackle. TJ Edwards, third and medium. Third and five will go man defense. I'm going to go over here on Roby Coleman and try to stop Greg Olson. Oh, shit. Oh, Rodney's so slow, man. I cannot wait. I can, like, one of my top priorities is drafting a new safety. So slow. So, like, uh, give me a 92 speed safety. That's what we need. It's now second and 10 at the 25 yard line. Fucking. I'm at, I think the game's over. So, at this point, we're just. At this point, to protect Carson Wentz, at this point, I'm going to put in Jalen Hurts and we're just going to go for the Fulham depth trade. So, if I throw five picks, it's going on Jalen Hurts and it's not going on our boy Carson Wentz, who we want. To ultimately have more touchdowns and interceptions. He's not even getting open. Travis full of absolutely is not playing like he wants to go up a depth trade. He is getting absolutely suffocated. Like, can I call the cops? What are the what's the area code for fucking Philadelphia? Because there's a suffocation going on out here on the outside. And I don't think he's into that. Right there. 
Some more yardage for Travis Fulham, finally. 18 yards. More, hey, a little bit of chemistry there. A little bit of chemistry. Got it. Got it. Now have Fulham's dev trait. We can focus on somehow in the next seven minutes, the last seven minutes, getting two touchdowns from Miles Sanders. Oh, he's close. I gotta, gotta extend. That should have been touchdown number two. There we go. Touchdown number two. One more to go for Miles Sanders. And this will be about as good of a loss as we could have imagined or expected heading into this game. Yep. Yep. Hopefully it's like uh, the inverse of what happens in real life. When it seems like we win the game in our Madden save, Philly loses in embarrassing fashion in real life. So maybe if we lose in embarrassing fashion here in our Eagles Madden 21 franchise, they find a way to win and Philly will upset the Seattle Seahawks on Monday night. Bet the house on it. I honestly don't know. I, I feel like... I feel like on one hand... Our defense was dog shit. Dog shit defense. We weren't going to win this game either way. But definitely, I think a lot of the mistakes on offense were tied into the fact that we were trying to press and get depth trades. I know for a fact, really, you could argue two. One for sure, definitely, I think two of the three interceptions for Carson Wentz were us trying to force feed Travis Fulham. And same goes for both interceptions on Jalen Hurts, just trying to force feed Travis Fulham. But at least at that point, the game was over. And then it's like, all right, well, let's go all in for the depth trade because that makes sense. That's the only goal we could achieve because victory has been eliminated. But you can't give up buck 38, four yards of tote for Carlos Hyde. One touchdown short for Miles Sanders getting his dev trade. But I, I think it will come. I think on a week that we don't have two dev trades to decide between, uh, we would have been able to ran Miles Sanders a whole lot more. Maybe the result would have been different. But at least we were able to, in one kind of handle DK Metcalf. Kudos to Darius Slay. But... We got Fulham's dev trade. Six catches, 105 yards, 17.5 uh, yards per catch. Rager had a couple nice grabs as well, which is always a positive. Seeing a team that's been starved of a young wide receiver talent have really two guys that look very, very promising in Rager and Fulham. Ten tackles for Darius Slay. We had a sack for Jalen Mills. A pick six, 55 yards from Avante Max. That's probably play of the game. But ultimately, yeah, we just got worked by a team that is much better offensively than our defense is. Well, the only thing that's going to be positive from you know the conclusion of this game is this. Travis Fulham primed for big things, and he's gone up to a star dev plus 20,000 XP, which is going to be pretty goddamn monumental when we try to upgrade. As he now has three upgrade points, we, could, we might as well work on his route running, even though deep threat makes more sense. He's not a deep threat guy, but I feel like he needs more speed. Uh, to take his game to the next level, but we might as well just force feed him into the scheme fit here. Route runner. And there we go. He went up plus one, but he's now a perfect scheme fit. 77 overall with the star dev trait. An emerging star in Philadelphia. Well, that's going to do it for today's episode, fellas. Not bad. I mean, even though it, that was very bad, losing 51 27, we're still 2 and 1. And I thought me coming back to all Madden, I was going to get absolutely smoked. And I'd be playing like Carson Wentz is in real life. Three, four, five, six turnovers a game. Now, again, I, I do, you need to state the obvious. We had three interceptions with Carson Wentz today. But, you know, if, if Fulham didn't have the dev trait, we would have been a little bit more conservative. Would have went for the open man and not just force fed him. And things would have been better, I think. I think you could probably could shave off, like I said, two of those interceptions. And things would have been pretty. But at least with those victories and how things are playing out in our sim... With that loss, we're still going to be, at worst, still two games up from second place in the NFC lease. So I'm feeling pretty good because the next couple weeks gets very difficult. I would not be shocked. And I'm preparing myself to maybe not win again until week 16. I'm already telling you, week 15, that's going to be lost. I cannot stop Kyler Murray in this game. Week 14, maybe. Week 13, maybe. But Drew Brees, Aaron Rodgers, it's going to be pretty damn difficult. But... We had a dev trade for Travis Fulham. At least we had something accomplished here today. So let me know what you guys are thinking about this series. I'd like to get a little bit of a feedback. Are you enjoying it through three episodes? Do you want more? I can I can prioritize working on getting you know two to three episodes out a week. Probably more so in the ballpark of two. But the plan is right now, this is what? Coming up to you guys Wednesday. Probably Saturday. We'll have that Green Bay Packers game week 13. So I do thanks 
everybody and appreciate everybody that has been watching this because the series has been doing particularly well on the channel and I'm having a whole lot of fun and with all the editing and just doing little things like that it's 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 enjoyable to me so I hope you guys are also enjoying it too so if it's your first time stopping by don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button smash the like button if you enjoyed helps this series get a lot more visibility on YouTube so if you do appreciate what I'm doing I appreciate that a thumbs up it's all it takes it's free I'll see you guys back on the next one thanks for watching and peace out